You know all about George Soros. He has now infused himself through a PAC, his dollars into your campaign. But this is part of a larger picture, what you're experiencing, correct? That, that's right. He's really hit almost every uh, state, about 17 regions across uh, the United States. And now he's gone after our state, California, with four different races. In San Diego is the second largest DA's office in this state and the fifth largest in the country. So he views this as a prize and he's going after uh, San Diego with $1.5 million just five weeks before the election. And what is supposed to be a nonpartisan race uh, has clearly become hyperpartisan. $1.5 million. So what he does is he comes into a, a region, he establishes uh, some sort of a committee that establishes a PAC, and then he throws his, his money in there, right? Exactly, and he does it as a surprise element. He just comes in, and usually the candidates that I've talked to that have uh, won or lost, and mostly lost, unfortunately, real prosecutors that are protecting their regions, they just look up, and one day there's ad after ad on television and glossy mailers against them and for the unqualified opponent. And, and so this is the Soros MO, right? He'll come into a local region like San Diego. He'll 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 set up a, a, you know some sort of front group and then pour the money in and then he'll back a a radical candidate who wants to impose his form of quote criminal justice uh, reform. And so so far um, he spent what close to half a million dollars uh, in this race against you. Exactly, about 600000 but he's allotted a million and a half and maybe even more. He's been known to uh, pile on more money a couple of days before the election. So we are just uh, preparing. We knew that this was coming, watching around the country. I hold some national positions of leadership for prosecutors, so I've been watching this trend, a very bad trend for public safety. We've seen in one area that the governor has had to come in and take all of the serious murder cases away from his hand-selected proxy. So this is dangerous for public safety. And I'm very concerned about San Diego County, and we're doing everything in our power to fight this, this outside infusion of money. And to get partisan, it seems as though, from my perspective, perspective that uh, what Soros is doing here through the local district attorneys is picking up where Barack Obama left off vis-a-vis -vis his so-called criminal justice reform. And among the issues uh, that are being focused on by his candidates is, for example, decriminalizing some sex crimes. That's what his people want to do. Uh, closing prisons and jails, that was part of the Obama formula. Eliminating bail, I think I have a problem on, under the Eighth Amendment regarding that. Um, not enforcing quality of life crimes. And that's stunning to me. As a district attorney, not enforcing, quote, quality of life crimes. What is that, for example? I guess it would be a burglary, a, a non-violent kind of crime? All sorts of crimes can be breaking into cars, uh, loitering, stopping people from going into a business. Uh, all sorts of crimes can qualify as quality of life. So if we're seeing the issue of homelessness and then you take away every tool to be able to manage it and to make sure that people can go into centers and programs and housing, you disincentivize all of that with not prosecuting quality of crime uh, cases. What is really incredible here is his hand-selected proxies vow to not follow the law. So they basically take a pledge to not impose the death penalty, to not prosecute to the fullest extent of the law, even killers who deserve life without the possibility of parole. They also pledge to not prosecute drug cases, to not prosecute cases involving uh, sex and sex trafficking. And myself, I've devoted the last 15 years to ridding our community of gangs and traffickers that recruit and basically manipulate young 15, 16-year-olds into this life of destruction, of pro prostitution. This uh, just is really an end game for dignity.